In the early 15th century, Christopher Columbus's mission encountered something that caused widespread fear across the entire crew, earning a spot in the maritime folklore as the most infamously terrifying spot on Earth. The barometer needle turned awry, massive bursts of fire emerging entirely out of nowhere, and a peculiar radiance emanating from the ocean were all recorded on the log kept by the Grand Discoverer. After a long time had passed, this abandoned location once again revealed its terrible nature. In these waters, ships mysteriously vanish without even a sign. Occasionally, people find them floating aimlessly, barren and dreary. But more frequently than not, we do not locate wrecks. However, it's not just shipping that vanishes. Whole squads of military jets also disappear. The world immediately learned of these unbelievable occurrences, and this part of the Atlantic Ocean has maintained its ominous name. Today, you still know that this is the mythical Bermuda Triangle. In this video, we'll be discussing the new discovery beneath the Bermuda Triangle. There has been extensive research into the ocean floor in this area, and scientists now understand what lies many kilometers below the surface. Numerous drill sites and seismic surveys were conducted on the Florida Shelf off the coast of the Bahamas and Bermuda. The seafloor structures in the Bermuda Triangle are incredibly diverse, with many unique features that can be observed nowhere else on Earth. This great diversity in such a compact marine region is extremely unusual. The ocean floor features a border with steep banks, a continental incline, peripheral and median highlands, vast straits, abyssal plains, and deep ocean pits. After studying a detailed morphological model of the ocean floor, researchers asserted that the Bermuda Triangle region could be roughly split in half along a north-south axis. The southern one encompasses the Florida coast, the banks of the Bahamas, the ports, and the deep ocean trench off the coast of Puerto Rico. Large shoals and stretches of flat water interspersed with deep canyons characterize the seafloor here. The water is less turbulent, and the bottom topography is more consistent across the triangle in the north. Several seamounts and a very sizable Bermuda Plateau emerge from the ocean to the north and east, where the broad shelf transitions into a deep water level. There are multiple clusters of seamounts within the northeastern and eastern sides of the triangle, and things start to get intriguing at this point. There are a few who have been given names, but the vast majority of them are still nameless. At 150 to 200 meters in height, these aren't mountains, but rather hills on land. But from the sea floor, they are genuinely extraordinary structures. Submerged hills, typically fewer than 100 meters in height, are abundant in the region. These miniature mountains have a strange, almost symmetrical cone shape. When viewed upwards, its round or oval shape stands out. Slopes between 10 and 30 degrees are not particularly steep, yet the width of the feet can vary from several kilometers to tens of kilometers. In this region, sea mounts and perhaps even slopes tend to have a similar shape that is occasionally modified by multiple terrace levels. The mountains resemble cones in the primary instance and massive plinths with multiple smaller spheres in the second. Contrary to expectations, the Atlantic Ocean lacks almost as many seamounts as the Pacific Ocean does. There are other areas in the Atlantic with peculiar bottom shapes. Maybe it is no accident that the fascinating patterns are clustered around Bermuda. In 2019, a massive team of researchers from around the world released a paper in Nature Journal, demonstrating that the formation of Bermuda was the consequence of extremely rare volcanic activity. Although this method of volcanism has only recently come to the attention of experts, it may have played a role in the development of numerous volcanic island chains throughout the oceans. For a long time, scientists thought that the magmas were responsible for setting off the long dormant volcanoes that lifted the Bermuda Islands out of the Sargasso Sea. While it is true that a persistent plume has been spotted here, the slow crustal motion over a persistent vertical magma flow may also cause the formation of a distinctive island nation where the plume erupts. Additionally, there are currently no volcanic eruptions in the region where this stream is occurring. Geologists reanalyzed a core drilled 800 meters deep in Bermuda in 1972 to resolve these discrepancies. They found lead isotopes and other metals in addition to a unique mineralogical composition. Multiple theories on Bermuda's beginnings have been proposed due to this study's findings. The most reasonable explanation is that magma upheavals elevated and mingled the matter particles of old plates stored in the mantle transition region. 
This may appear unclear initially, but you will be amazed once you put the pieces together. Approximately 175 million years ago, the Pangaea landmass, which had formerly included nearly all of Earth's land, broke apart, giving rise to the Atlantic Ocean. Countless plate pieces fell into the mantle underneath the seabed, plunging into the transition region at a depth of around 400 to 600 kilometers, and the plates that presently constitute Africa, Europe, and the Americas split apart to create a lagoon between them. With its peculiar geology and possibly other explosive islands in the Atlantic, Bermuda could have been formed by a similar scenario, in which many pieces of this semi-molten waste floated higher while combining, mingling, and engaging with water around 30 million years ago. Hundreds of millions of generations before being popularly known, the Bermuda Triangle was an extraordinary region. However, the Puerto Rico Trench is the complete antithesis of the Bermuda Triangle, and its existence adds an extra layer of intrigue to the area. Bermuda is home to the Milwaukee Deep, the Atlantic's lowest spot. You'd have to go down 8,380 meters to reach the bottom of the Puerto Rico Trench. Compared to the world's most extended trench located off the coast of Peru, the Puerto Rico Trench is relatively tiny at only 1,550 kilometers. The Puerto Rico Pit is one of the broadest in the world at up to 120 kilometers, whereas Chile's length is only 5,900 kilometers. Speculative fiction authors frequently hypothesize that strange monsters and unfathomable powers lurk in the ocean's depths. Such speculations are understandable given the Puerto Rico Trench's reputation. However, the bottom of the trench contains nothing paranormal or intriguing. Even though it's a strange place, the Bermuda Triangle's depths don't hold any secrets. Maybe somewhere in that mass, we'll unearth something of value. The composition of the triangle's base is inconspicuous at first appearance. The rocks are typical sedimentary types like limestone, sandstone, and clay. The width of this layer varies from a couple of kilometers along the Bahamas shores to a couple of kilometers on the Bermuda Plateau. At first appearance, the seafloor around the triangle doesn't appear to have altered much in the last 120 to 130 million years, as the typical sediment accretion rate is just about 6 mm per 150 years. However, something is going on that has the attention of not only Enigma enthusiasts, but also well-known scientists who are worried about the safety of marine travel. Researchers and amateurs are frantically attempting to strike a balance between daring notions and a proper scientific methodology that filters out hoaxes in the expectation of addressing some of the inexplicable ship abductions. Therefore, there aren't a lot of big ideas floating around, but one theory does involve explosive methane hydrate deposits. Significant quantities of methane hydrates exist on continental shelves, according to studies. Some extremely serious studies were done to determine whether these compounds swiftly discharged masses could sink a boat. When testing with miniature ship models, the findings of a set of simulations undertaken by Australian academics were encouraging. Nevertheless, artificial gas explosions quickly destroyed the models. This happened because the density of water suddenly dropped. It has been hypothesized that sudden lapses in methane production could cause patches of frothy water that do not support ships to build around them, sinking them unexpectedly and catastrophically. The abductions are challenging to track since distress signs could not have been issued in time and the wreckage would have been immediately washed away and distributed by the Gulf Stream. Articles from the United States Geological Survey detail extensive subsea hydrant deposits all over the globe, especially in the Blake Ridge area close to the southeastern United States coast. Now it all makes sense, but the same geological survey also concluded that no big gas hydrant releases have occurred in the Bermuda Triangle region in the last 15,000 years, and that many reasonable reasons rule out the unknown source of even the most publicized abductions. No matter how implausible the Bermuda Triangle mysteries may seem, they continue to pique the interest of new generations. Humanity learned the truth about many previously unfathomable occurrences through the search for riddles. That's all for this video. Leave your thoughts on this new discovery beneath the Bermuda Triangle. Also take a minute out and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. See you soon.